I hate to disturb this little party that you guys are having, but we've got a show to do. In fact, what I plan to do is make another one of these, so there'll be three of them, so it'll even be a better party. Okay, guys? Good, good. And joining me is Bev Armstrong, and you've done lots of these kinds of things, yes, haven't you? Yes, yes. In, in the past, we make these for Scarecrow Festival, and we make them full size, so it's really fun. Um, you, you know, you... You know how much fun it is. <laughs> it's this fun is to just, make them, but it's fun to play with them. It is. So how do they make scarecrows out of them? Uh, Full-size clothes. We we, okay. we have people donate worn-out clothing, okay. and they make the similar to this. Yeah, sure. And Very similar. The, so and put the giant head on, and you can do hair, you can do hats, you can do... Glasses, we even have wigs. Yeah. Wigs and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this fun. Okay, that is fun, but... To make one of our jesters, and of course, you can see right away that this wouldn't have to be a jester. This could be a, a clown. It could be a clown. A it scarecrow. Could be a scarecrow. It could be a... A bride and groom bride would be such fun. Oh, you start. could have fun with these faces. So you have to kind of make a costume to wear. So basically, there's an arm and legs. And mm -hmm. It could be a dress, could too, be a I skirt. guess. It could be a skirt, sure. So you decide what size and how you want to make it. We've done it in two different colors. So we'll sew these two together and sew up and under and basically get something like this. So here is the outfit. The trick mm -hmm. to this is to put this block of wood inside because, of course, then it sits. I like yes. dolls that sit yeah. as opposed to dolls that just kind just of have to be propped up. Yeah. So this is going to be sewn up by hand there at the neck. And then we're going to make some feet and some hands. So I'd suggest the hands be mitts because you don't want to do all those fingers. So we'll then There's put this little. hand right in there and we'll just sew that together. And we'll put a little bit of trim around there to kind of cover up. So that'll be all, we could put braid, whatever. And we've done some feet that are kind of just, actually the foot would be nice to have a little pom-pom at the end oh, and whatever. Yes. And then or that a little bell would bell be Bell would be good and yeah. that'll all get stitched onto there. So we've got hands and we've got feet. We just need a head, and the head is the fun part. That's right. So what we need is we need some pantyhose or knee highs or whatever, sort of whatever color you happen to have. And you need to put some stuffing. And I like really fluffy stuffing because mm -hmm. that way you can sculpt it and you can do things. When I put my nose, oh, you've already got a nose. I have a nose. <laughs> I just pulled play. this out. So you yes. kind of look to see you've got a nose. You've got to have a place for a couple of eyes. Mm -hmm. And then you want to leave, leave enough for maybe some kind of a mouth, and there's a mouth coming. So what do you use for eyes, Bev? Uh, buttons, most often. Um, just go through all Grandma's buttons. She's got a great button collection, I sure. can tell you. Um, they can be as big or as small as you like. They, they can be any size. Yeah. So we'll just sew this little button in right there. Okay. There's this little nose. You can even make a nostril. <laughs> yes, well, you can get right up would be in nice, there. come to think of it. And then, of course, the mouth. And you just use a needle and thread and uh, go at enjoy it. What I did, I just started here. So I'm just, I just took sort of a stitch to anchor because sometimes if you don't don't anchor it, it's going to pull right through. That's right. So I'm just going to put that eyeball, and when I put an eyeball, I take another couple of stitches at the back just to hold it tight yep. so it doesn't sort of slip back. But then, nothing, no, no worries about what's actually going to happen on the back of this. I can skip right across on the back and put my other eyeball. So I'm going to just put that other eyeball on, and we'll go down like this. So I think I will secure this because I'm running out of thread. What I suggest you do is you take a nice long thread to begin with. So I've got another needle here, all threaded up and set to go. So the next thing I do is I put the nose on. Yes. So if you and you can have such fun, play think around of somebody with somebody you nose. really like. So I'm going to come in from the back and I'm going to just sort of go back and forth across that nose because I want that to really stick out. And I usually exaggerate noses. I mean, I shudder to think of anybody really having a nose this size, but whatever. People have to live with what they've got. So. That's right. And just have fun. And then this don't, is where I go too into the about it. You see what yeah. I'm doing here? I put my fingers right in, and then I take a stitch across there. Uh-oh, I just took one across there. Well, he's got a wrinkle in his nose. That's okay, too. Oh, I'm sure so, somebody yeah. has. And then we take a stitch across there, and then up. I use these for Halloween costumes. I use them for so many things. You said you had a full-size one that you actually sent on an airplane, right? Yes. It, it, we made a, a lady to be a greeter at the cancer clinic in Saskatoon. She and had to get there, so you she sent had to her get on the there. plane. That's right. She flew first class. <laughs> she was met by the doctor who was in charge of the cancer clinic there. And uh, she greets everybody as they come in. Isn't that great? And it's she's still going. She doesn't she's, wear out. That's the other good thing. That's a good thing. And she's yeah. not like other volunteers that don't show up. Oh, yes. <laughs> so there we've sort of got a nose. Now we're going to sort of form a mouth. And you can see that I'm going to just 
I'll just lay that down because you can sort of see that the mouth is really quite. So I'm going to take a stitch there and there, and then I'm going to put some lips. So oh, I'm going to yes. Have to take this guy over here because here How is. Wonderful. I've actually I stitched in around those lips and stitched around. Did you see the teeth? That's a wonderful idea. Look at those teeth. teeth. Yes. So here oh my we gosh, have, and you've just used and white just beads. little white beads. And for instance, if this is my face, I'm going to pop those teeth in. I'm going to actually stitch them because there's holes in the beads. Mm -hmm. But you can see that it actually just does. Isn't work that so perfect? Well, for a baby shower, you could have <laughs> the cutest baby lying you on the could. center. You could. Babies have no base. wrinkles, of course. And so. One little tooth. Just yeah, a little perfect. tooth. And then, of course, we just put ears on. So you just make whatever size of ears you want and stitch them on. Then I'm going to take the head and I'm going to form stuff some stuffing in the head, mm -hmm. but I'm going to put this hat, hat on. How about hair? Should we put hair on this guy? Well, a little bit of hair peeking out yeah, would be a little bit wonderful. Of hair would be just lovely. Yeah. So you can put whatever kind of hair you yeah. want. And then yeah. I've got my stick. And the stick it has disappeared. Well, here we've got the stick. And we'll show you. Here's, here's the stick. And there's a hole in that. Actually, I put it right there. So there's a hole in there. And that's where the stick goes. And then that's going to go right into there and go all the way up. I can just find the hole that I used. Anyway, that stick, will, that guy will go down into there. He will. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And he'll just there, which is good. That's which is right. Good. Yeah. So, I mean, basically, that's it. You put a few of these. We did actually put it on the hook and loop, but you can make your little ruffle to go around. You can do so many things. Make so many. Christmas anyway. decorations, um, just about Hello. anything. Thanks so much for joining oh, me. Oh, thank you. Don't you go away, because we've got some exciting knitting, crocheting stuff coming up. Guests of our show stay at Travel Lodge. Nice rooms, great people. Models provided by Chan International. Number one in personal development training, modeling, and acting. workshop today and I'm even knitting which is kind of a surprise because I don't profess to be a knitter at all but I kind of think that there's going to be something this is looking a bit boring but I have a suspicion that my teacher is going to get me going and doing something more exciting with it and my teacher is right over here and her name is Barbaroni. It's great to have you on the show. Thanks, Linda. Nice to be here. Well, you're tell doing me. a great job. Well, this is a bit boring. I, I, I just, I'm not convinced yet. But um, if you think I can make something, this feels like that thing I did in grade one. Mm -hmm. The teacher had us all make these little squares, and then she sewed them all together. And it sort of looks like this. But exactly. How'd you like to punch that I up a little bit? I want to punch it up quite a bit. Well, can I put it in something like this? You sure can. I'm here to show you today a new technique called freeform knit and crochet. Yes, yes, yes. And really what that is, is it's exploring and in, in, uh, kind of getting out your imagination, your creativity. You don't have those little graph things, those <laughs> pattern stuff that I see sometimes? Well, they, they, those are, exist, but we don't have to use them. Oh, this is yeah. the idea that you can just pick up a set of knitting needles or a crochet hook and just start Be to create. totally free. Exactly. Okay, so from this, how do, what, what would, well actually maybe what we ought to do, should we have a look, you brought a garment like no other, mm -hmm. so let's have a look at this. I mean, this is enough to just blow one's mind. This is a cape that was made by an Australian woman, Prudence Mapstone. She's uh, kind of the founder of Freeform Knit and Crochet. She and is a woman with a wonderful mind. Isn't that something? Now, these are all little tiny pieces called scrumbles that are put together, and they're various knit and crochet, all sorts of different fabrics. But when they're combined, they create a wonderful garment. You said there was a theme to this. It's kind of an aquatic, because I see it a is. fish it's, here. She calls it her underwater theme. Yeah. And this has got uh, fish in it. It's got coral reefs, all sorts of beautiful fibers that... Lots and lots of different yarns. Mm. I mean, this is what happens when I go into a yarn store. I say, oh, I want one of those, one of those, one of those. Mm -hmm. This is where I could put it. This is where you could put it. And yeah. you can use your creativity to to complete a garment that's totally your own. Absolutely. So you've got some crochet. Well, that looks like knitting there, but there's crocheting there. Mm -hmm. So you've combined the whole business with all different yarns, and one size fits 
fits you forever, which is good. It's got, it's so, very yeah. versatile. Oh, it's totally exciting. So yeah, I want to do that. Okay, okay. Okay. What I thought we might do today is show you how to do it on a bit of a smaller scale. <laughs> That's Maybe always what could... happens when you teach, isn't it? Because <laughs> students always want to do the blah, blah. And you say, well, no, let's do the... And it's true. We should start smaller. Well, and it's still very, very fun. You can start by taking this, the piece that you've got and in finishing it off, taking and binding it off with the knitting, and then maybe throwing in a little bit of crochet. Okay, I, so I have this a piece could be here. the piece that I just finished. Yeah. And then... If we say that this was the piece that you just finished, maybe you'd like to make some, like, crocheted borders or some circles or squares. Maybe you want a bit or of a some loose soft... some loosey yeah. stuff. Okay, so what am so I going to do? So here we go. We pick up a crochet hook. And we just attach the yarn in there and make a, a couple of loops. And crocheting crochet is, is just loop through a loop. It is. It's just a matter of making chains, and it they doesn't call matter it. what loop, does it? It doesn't. <laughs> Do you have to worry about this being flat? Uh, no, you don't. In fact, <laughs> you are just happiness all around. This is good. <laughs> in fact, if you can add a little bit of texture and dimension into your knitting, it just adds more interest. Sure. We, there's a number of pieces on that garment where there's almost a 3D kind of effect. Okay. okay. But here we go. We're just making a few double crochets into oh, the Oh, I don't same. like the word when you say double crochet. You just go through a couple of times and you just, <laughs> just got to hook it through. Just go through a couple of times. Yeah. Hook it through. Yeah. And when you get a few of them on there. Great way to use up yarn, too. This is I can gonna... imagine. So you could make it any shape or any size or anything that you want with any yarn that you want. Exactly. No. Okay. So when I get a few of those, then I would... Okay, since you've got a purse here, we'll talk about a purse. Okay. This is a delightful little purse. Isn't it cute? And, and you put inside. this on a form. We have. Oh, the bra. This is the bra purse. This is, a baby. this is a beautiful bra purse. That started out as a cup. And there's a cup. and Yeah. And then we just attach the pieces on top. They just sure. sew down. Sure. And we also have some pr plastic forms I brought today because some people want just a little different shape. And you well, can this use... this looks like a really simple way to go because it's already formed and you yeah. can then sort of stick this all on there. You could use just the plain plastic canvas or you can and purchase these own. forms. This That's looks a really kind of interesting one. one. That goes like this and like this and then goes down like that. There so, you go. Yeah. I can imagine if you didn't have a form to put it on, this knitting would kind of grow as you put stuff in it. Yeah, it could, uh, yeah, as it, uh, kind of it gets weighted. Yeah. It. Yeah. So you can be sitting in the evening in your armchair <laughs> making scrumbles, making little scrumbles. throwing them into a bag How or a sitting basket. when you're traveling in a car and visiting people. I mean, you'd never be without this and your yarn. Exactly. Imagine. You can use any size of crochet hooks, just depending on the sure. size of the yarn, make these little scrumbles. You and then, then stitch them together, or you could crochet them together, I would guess. Or knit them together. Or knit them together, yes. Yeah. And then once you're tired of it, you put it away, make another one. And then when you've got enough of them, you can put them together. So here we go. And I think Let's the joy see. of this is that they seem to be able to be stretched to fit whatever size you want them to fit, which exactly. is rather lovely. And then you, you know. put that on there. So if we look at this one again, mm -hmm. yes, how perfect. So there is, and you've lined this as well, which is kind of a nice idea too, so it covers up all that canvas. Mm -hmm. That's so right. You've got all kinds of little pieces. That's right. And they, they can either be pinned on and then moved around, depending on if I don't like the look, I can change it up. I even use some of the ends from the to actual knitted piece yeah, to tie it really down. Because you really don't need to stitch it down too much, I would suppose. It, mm -hmm. it's, oh, it is. It's quite separate. So, yeah. And I think it's a real kind of neat look. It's a truly a one of a kind. I noticed that there was some chain stitch going across. You could do some embroidery work if you, I mean, this is never really finished, I would suppose. This is exactly. If I don't like this piece, I can cover it up. <laughs> exactly. I like that. I like that. I like the fact that there's absolutely no rules. And then, of course, your handle is just done like this. Just a little crocheted one. So there's books on this? There is. There's all kinds of ideas. You can buy Prudence's books. She has two of them on freeform knit and crochet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or you can even explore those little stitch dictionaries that you have at home. Okay, you you get ideas for different uh, patterns. You're going to have to set me up with some needles and a crochet hook. And basically, if I've got that, I can do anything. Exactly. Oh. And lots of beautiful yarn. I love it. We've got to go because I'm on the road again. And we're going to show you some crazy stuff then, too. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Just love 
searching the continent for interesting items to, to show you. And I really have a great one today because I've met a person, Sarah Collins, and you've done a challenge for fiber artists across the continent, I guess. Mm -hmm. And tell us about it. How um, well, it's called the Bias Consistent Variable Project. And what I did is I assembled uh, identical kits consisting of fabric, thread, notions, everything you need to make a garment. So every participant got this. They had to... Yeah, and they're exactly the same. Everyone's identical. Okay. And uh, they have one month to turn it into whatever they want. They have to use everything in their kit and only what's in their kit. Okay, and it could be something on the wall. It could be yeah, anything they want to do. Yeah, it can be a piece of clothing. It can be a piece of art. Um, absolutely anything. Okay, so let's see what they have to okay. work with then. So this year I gave them uh, a quarter of a meter of this this wool. Okay. And then a uh, half a meter of this hammered satin. Uh -huh. And then the same fabric, uh, two meters two in meters green. That. Okay. And then there's a uh, half a meter of tulle. Lovely. Um, and uh, two ounces, roughly, of black screen printing ink. Okay, so uh, so they use the ink, not all the containers and all um, the stuff. Some people did use the container. <laughs> you, I, I left it sort of open to your own interpretation. Okay. Because um, I, th I thought it would be more interesting for people that were doing art sure, pieces sure. to be able to incorporate sure, sure, these plastics. Sure. Um, and yeah, then there's uh, yeah, 12, 12 black buttons, two uh -huh. D-rings. And then these were just to label your name on the pieces because okay. once you get them all in a big pile, they look exactly the same. Okay, so this in the thread infers that they should use a needle and uh, sewing Yeah, machine. you're allowed to use any tools you want, provided that it leaves no part of itself in your finished piece. So okay. you can use a silk screen, paintbrush, okay. sewing machine. A couple of different kinds of elastic yep. around and the normal. Okay. So that's what they started with. Mm -hmm. And then they submitted all these. So this is one of them. Mm -hmm. so, so is everything used on that? Um, I think so. She's got our got the buttons, the D-rings are holding it to the yeah, wall. Yeah. Okay. Uh, to oh, yeah, I think everything's in there. This is fantastic. Yeah, this. this bag. That is cut into strips and knitted. Mm -hmm. So that is quite amazing. And there's your D-rings that are the class. I think there's buttons. Oh, there's the buttons. The buttons, the ink, everything. Oh, yeah. That's great. Okay, what do and we have here? We have a another... couple more purses. Yeah, so this is one um, item, this, isn't it? Yeah, it was one participant did uh, two pieces. I find often we'll, we'll get two pieces or uh, an outfit with accessories. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets this pretty is... hard to incorporate everything in one piece. <laughs> this is so cute. It's okay. a challenge. And, of course, that wall piece is rather mm -hmm. interesting That's really interesting. Sure. Yeah, and then there's another one down there. Mm -hmm. So you've got all kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's always a lot of surprises. It's yes. like Christmas morning when you oh, open I the packages. Guess, I, I love guess. it. I feel like people have made me well, presents. Well, I'm so interested <laughs> in wearables, and I just have to see what the wearables. So okay. got a the majority of your people came back with wearables, didn't they? Yeah, this year there was a lot of a lot of garments, okay. and I tried to pick fabrics that were were easier to make garments with here to kind of encourage that because we're having a fashion. So show. it's hard to imagine, but you've used absolute yes. And she made this one herself, actually. Oh, wonderful. The model's also the participant. So let's find all the parts. Um, this is my favorite part. It, she took the ink container and painted it with the ink and then made a hat. And I thought that was that so awesome. Is good. The and then the I lid is the down here. Oh, this is the lid, of course. And it, we, I tried to encourage them not to use the box this year because we had to ship it all over the country. Um, really? And I wanted them to send it back. And but she's got this the tool in there. there. Okay, and the bows and all mm -hmm. this are lovely. Okay, what a great outfit. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's see the next one. Um, and this one's called the the Widow Bride. Um, and it's, the back is actually pretty amazing. Oh, isn't that? Yes, yes. So this is all must have taken printed forever. or hand-painted or yeah. something. Does it actually say something? I don't know. Um, I, I, the girl who made it, um, I saw a picture and she looked yeah, Chinese, yeah. so I'm assuming yeah, yeah. it does. Yeah, okay. So let's turn around. I think the posies are just and beautiful. And it's got the, um, the lid to the ink container is up here it's in the head. It's holding on the veil. Yeah. And the buttons, I see, are stitched mm. to the tool. Yeah, so I love the bouquet in this one. Yeah, itself. and that bouquet. So beautiful. It must have taken a really long time as well, I think. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's the lid to the container. Oh, I didn't even know so that. So there it is. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, this goes on and on. Yeah. Oh, that is a, that is amazing. That's yeah, th I think this looks like it might be the most time consuming yes. or one and of the most I love the idea that these guys are encouraged to get, you know, right out of the box and, and mm -hmm. just really use mm -hmm. imagination. That's a, speaking of imagination. This one is. Um, this one was made by my design teacher when I went. She uh, taught when I went to Marvell. Okay, okay. Years and years ago. Okay. So here, what's that? Oh, um, that's it's cardboard. the box. Yeah. The box. Getting out of the box. Yeah. <laughs> She's yeah. way out of the box. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's okay, awesome. Okay. So let's turn around. 
And she's like, taken the bias like logo and the works logo yeah. and put it in there, which was really cute. And she's also made these little underwear well, out under of the wall. Well, yeah. yeah, but it does all work. It does as long as you don't have to work too long. That's good. Okay, that's it. As long as you're not allergic to wool. Oh, I like this. This appears to be a little apron. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And uh, they also have got everything in this one. The buttons are over here and the. The D-ring with your spatula holder. Oh, yeah. Did she use all the fabric? Wasn't um, there a piece of black fabric? Yeah, it's in the back. It's oh, the yes, bow the back yes, there. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Yeah. Um, okay. And I I haven't read their sheets yet. They, uh, the but works grabbed them out of their boxes okay, first. But I'm curious to know what the live cook, because they often have a, yeah. I asked them what their inspiration and so education and stuff is. So there's, yeah, so there's a little bit. Yeah. And I make a book as well to show all the pieces, oh, yeah. and it, it has a bit about everybody in it, sure. and every piece is included Excellent, in the book. excellent. Okay, oh. and there's one more. This one was mine. Okay. Year. Well, I'm glad to hear that you actually had to do this because what a nasty you know, job. This, this was the year that I almost didn't do it. <laughs> it was so busy. I came pretty close to okay. leaving, okay. to handing in a box that hadn't been touched. Okay. But, but I think it's important that if you're going to make everybody else do yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah. And I and I cursed myself for putting this fabric in because I really it really stumped me what to do. I thought it would look good with the green, and then yeah, and then and then I just oh, wasn't happy, so I works. just put it in a scarf. It can serve as your purse too, if you want. This is my first year doing three separate pieces and I kind of am disappointed in myself because I've always tried to incorporate them in one and make okay, yeah. oh, use all the fabric so they make outfit, sense. So, oh yes, good, good job, good job Sarah. And we'll finish with this one. I love the, yeah, the print on the this print one. And she's actually, dress, you can't yes. see the tool but it's in the cuffs in here sort of as a Oh, so a it keeps it, makes it sort of like an interface. Yeah. yeah. And turn around and let's see the other side of this. This is just so fantastic, and this is just so much about inspiration and about getting outside of the box. Uh, thank you, Sarah. This is, yeah, it must much. have been great fun for you to organize this. Yeah, no, it really is. And really you do is. this every year? Um, my third year. Oh, good. And hopefully, mm -hmm. hopefully more. Yeah. Let's bring our models back because I think we have to have one grand finale here. And don't mm -hmm. they look perfect? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> great job. So thank you again, and thank you for watching us today. We're out of time, so we've got to go. So we'll see you next week on Linda McPhee's Workshop. Join us then. To receive the companion book for this series with all of the project details, send 1998 to the address on your screen or call one mcphee or visit us on the web at www.mcpheeworkshop.com. Sponsored in part by Janome. Quality sewing machines since 1921. And by Rowenta, the garment care experts, meeting the needs of the sewing enthusiasts for over 100 years with high performance irons, steamers, steam generators, and ironing boards. And Wonderfill specialty threads. Thread for the way you sew. And by The Woolen Mill Store, your source for quality fabrics and more. Featuring the largest selection of wool and wool blend. Yardage from Pendleton Woolen Mills. And by Horn of America, experience quality, innovative ideas, and customer service. And Creative Festival, bursting at the seams with hundreds of industry experts, conference classes, exhibits, and more. Experience creativity in the making.